What is going on, Marvel fans, Avengers fans? We're going to be talking about Avengers 4 and possibly some uh, things that may happen. Also, who will be going against uh, uh, Thanos as well as some other characters that may pose a threat with uh, Thanos. Now, if you guys are not familiar uh, with the comics or with the movies, um, I suggest you catch up with that as well as also with Infinity War. Again, Infinity War has been out for a couple weeks, so you guys should... Probably have already seen it, or if you haven't seen it, then give it a shot because it was an amazing movie. But uh, let's go ahead and just go ahead and just get right into this. Because, guys, Thanos, he's won. He's won. Now, who's going to pose a threat against Thanos? The survivors will more likely come together because Tony's on Titan with Nebula. So we have them too. Captain Marvel is going to be coming. We possibly have Hawkeye. We have uh, Black Widow. We have Bruce Banner. We have Captain America, we have Rocket, and we also have Thor. Now, and, and they're pretty much in Wakanda, whatever's left in Wakanda. Uh, we may see, of course, uh, Black Panther's sister, and I, I cannot remember her, her name. She's the uh, either lieutenant or the general of Black Panther, of his army. And I do believe, no, but those are, I believe, are the only survivors of uh Avengers uh three. So what exactly are we gonna be seeing? Because again, Thanos won. And at the end of the third film we see him around this farm setting. Now in the comics in one of the universe he did have that. And we may see that because if they try to fight him, he's gonna be like, why do you need to fight me? Uh I already won. There's there's no point. And he may use the Infinity Gauntlet, he may not use the Infinity Gauntlet, because he's extremely powerful even without the Infinity Gauntlet. And at the same time, what are they going to use to defeat him? Because the only thing so far that was even able to put a scratch on him was of course Thor's new uh, axe. That was the only thing that really put a dent in Thanos. And the reason why Thanos was doing all this in the comics is because he wanted to appease Lady Death because he was in love with her. He was infatuated with her. And we hadn't seen that in the movie. So we may see that in the movie in the fourth film. We may not. Now who is going to again be a threat? I do believe the main ones that are going to be a threat will be Thor Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Hulk, as well as Captain Marvel. Those are going to be the main forces that's going to cause a huge gap within the power uh, power levels. And that's actually going to give Thanos a little bit of a challenge. Now, Tony is going to have to get a new suit or something because his old one got destroyed in the uh, third film. And also we're going to have to see what exactly... Uh, the plan is going to be also are we going to be seeing Hulk because Hulk didn't do much in the third film after he got his ass kicked by Thanos in the third movie he was scared and in, in Thor Ragnarok we got to know that Hulk has been in control for over two years and that's possibly another reason why that the Hulk couldn't come out and but we also need to see something that is going to trigger the Hulk like such as someone he truly cares about dying uh, like a friend or someone he loves now I, I understand that if uh like, like, I think what would be perfect is if he was going to, like, destroy, like, Captain America and Tony, and then he, like, kills uh, Black Widow as long as he's doing that, then that's what's going to trigger it. I think it's one of them three, especially Black Widow. It's going to trigger that anger, that rage, and just, like, unleash it, and he's just going to go, like, off on Thanos, because... I think that's what's going to be the main thing to get Hulk to be like, okay, I need to, I need to fight. I can't keep, I can't be scared. I can't run. I got to fight. And that's what's going to take. I think it's really going to take, I, I, I've heard so many theories that that is what may happen. Now, honestly, that may happen. That may not happen. I think it's going to be uh, a possible, another uh, theory is Bruce is going to try to have a talk with uh, Hulk that may work, that may not, because he tried doing that in the third film. So he may try to do that uh, up to a certain point and be like, okay, if you're not going to do something, I will. And and that's pretty much what he was doing in the third film by using the Hawkbuster. So that we may see more of that also in the uh, fourth film. But also we will be seeing, uh, I don't know who else that may be in the film, because uh, again, I do believe that certain characters will return. There's other characters that may return. A lot of people have thought about, okay, uh, time travel, uh, different universe. We may see uh, the characters from other universes. So anything's possible right now for Marvels because for Marvel because again the Avengers was so high in Infinity War that it was unreal. 
And of course, I believe also, I, I think Warhawk, he's still there as well as uh, uh, War Machine. I think he's there as well. I'm, I'm trying to remember, but we definitely will see a whole bunch of characters return to the fight and be able to continue fighting so that way we can give uh, basically theories on what may happen. Some characters may return, some characters may not. But guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed, if you're new to the channel, consider about subscribing. Uh, click the notification button as well. Links down description below. Let me know who your favorite Avenger is in the comments down below. Uh, who do you think is going to give Thanos a fight? Also, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Welcome to the family. Uh, if you guys like this, I, I like making more theories of this. I'm going to be doing more theories of Marvel's uh, Avengers and possibly for the other movies as well. That's going to be coming. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you guys are enjoying your weekend, your day, uh, night, whatever you may be located at. And I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one.